So the other part of this is the input racks, yes? The, yes, uh, let me show you one other device here. This is not an emulation of anything but an original device. Uh, let's go ahead and insert this and I'll show, uh, so we can see it. Um, let me think here, 16. So we're going to insert this on 16. And let's see if we have... Let me look at this real quick, make sure our insert is on. It is on. Let's go back there. Of course, we don't have a singer right now, but I want to show you the graphics because this is a really great device. So it's our. It is. This is. Um, this is our dynamic EQ. Oh wow! So. So you can DS out at a certain. That's right. At a certain point. Yeah. So. And we want it. And it's right there on the board, available on every channel. Little line on one action. That's right. <laughs> so. Pretty hard to beat that. And it, and it sounds great. Easy to use. Cool looking interface, but it. It, it sounds great. So that's the, that's the premium rack. Um, so uh, let's see, IO, sure. To your right, if you want to pan over, is the, on top is the Rio 1608D. It is uh, 16 analog inputs, eight analog outputs. There's a rotary switch for to identify the box. You want to give it an ID number. Okay. So just very easily set it here. Number of features happen with the dip switches. Whether it's you're running your your system in the, the the Dante network in redundant or daisy chain mode, this is three spaces. The the the, the network connections are on the back. You've got but you have uh, you have the status lights on the front and rear. Below is the uh, the Rio 3224D, 32 in, 16 analog out, four stereo AES outs. Uh, everything else about it is the same. So on the within the CL system, you can have four consoles on the network. Each console can address up to eight boxes. So you can have 256 channels of audio on the network, pulling in 64 at a time to your console. Right? So you can have boxes all over the place and just pick whatever inputs and outputs you want from each box that happens in a network patch. You pull those those into your console. Okay, so if I'm on the on the CL5, can I can I pull inputs from different boxes depending on what I need to do? Yes. Really? Yes. So, um, and so can everybody. So each console up, you can have four consoles, you know, addressing addressing this, the, the Rio boxes at one time. Now, on the console itself, there's only eight in and eight out? The, on, on the back of the console, right. there eight are omnis. Eight, eight omni in, eight omni out. You have three card slots, so you have another 48 channels of interface by way of the card slots as well. Right? On each console. Do these go to a car slot or is there a dedicated port? There's a dedicated port. Dante's integrated into the system. Oh, okay. You'll get DVS license with each with each okay. console. Um, we'll be introducing later this summer, we're going to have Nuendo Live. Uh, it is an optimized version of Nuendo for, for recording a playback of up to 64 channels with a Cat5 just drops onto the network. So you can, um, you could, like I say, record and play back up to 64 channels. So maybe in the, in the patch library you would have a, a a slot that where it would call your inputs from your computer for your virtual sound check. Um, the, the names and colors of the channel transfer over to Nuendo Live. So as you l label it, all just falls into place. When you're running your show, as you're recalling scenes, it puts markers in Nuendo Live. So getting to those songs for the virtual sound check tomorrow is very very easy. And that's all software, right? Because that's using the Dante virtual sound card. That's the, yes, and and Nuendo as the as the and, record device. As the record device. There'll be transport control right on the screen as well. That's fantastic.